it's in here. Destroy with her super, not trading it out. Yep, scissors yet to spawn. There he is. Oh, weapon swap straight away. Yeah, it's a super oh, going just... on to Stella. Yeah, was expecting that to be honest. Yeah, uh, no switches Three supports for supports on Koba. Yeah, one recon glitch on that recon as per usual. Oh, glitch bits out a, a grenade there on banana covering top banana. Got some support coverage there with with them also. So I had looking at contest that server find someone. Support and support in server. Both teams are playing it a bit safe. Trades coming out on banana, not quite finding the targets, just a little bit of damage. But as well here, very weak holding that angle. Tried to go up the ladder, didn't really work out that well for him, but he's still alive. He's now checking ramp. Yeah, he's pushing up. Slow that's slow walk. Eleven HP and a ZRS and a dream. Technical issues for Tarmechius is caught. I stop flanks. Manages to get destroyed, girl. Gets rid out by glitch. Yeah, but Scarf is there, just sat behind a box. 3v3. Stella finds her mark. Can she convert that into another glitch, evening it out? Gets a second. Can she get a third? Menhera now have control of the ghost. Tormekia is running back to prevent the cap. Yeah, they heard the door open, so they know where he is, but he is fresh with a ZRC. That being said, if Stella finds the right angle here, she can destroy Tomek here. Menhera should be picking up the ghost there, kind of forgetting it's not the TDM. There we go, now he picked it up. Yeah. Tomek is pushing! That. Oh. 22 HP on Stella here, very weak. Oh, catches oh, him. Oh no, smoke bad swap! Bad smoke yeah. swap! Unfortunate. That's comments being one of made. those. Sorry, you go. go. <laughs> uh, comments being made in chat in regards to the like value of support. People said support was trash because of the players, not because of the class. As we see, the class is very good because the players are not very good. Yes, game sense. Um, some people ask uh, sometimes, "What is game sense? What does it come down to?" I would say a very practiced support would not have swapped out to that smoke in uh, pretty much the middle of a firefight there. 100%. You'd smoke a lot earlier from the backwards position and then play around that. As we see, Stella on the super again, contesting server. Technical pause goes out, but it won't come into effect until the next round. Koba down a player. They need to play on the defensive here. Tie it out. Ooh, not like this, Koba. They have control over Silver and Ghost. Yeah, they're in some really good positions here. Glitches on that banana in a very safe position. Minhera waiting out to see where exactly the opposition is, how they want to play it. Yeah, and they're considering that server push right now. Glitch gets one, gets sis. Great but the flank. rest of his team aren't pushing server. They're considering it, but they're just not doing it. Isotop is kind of isolated. He did push in. Has a retreat. Oh, good grenade there from Asbo. Even though they're fighting with one less player, they're making the right plays here. 4v2. Asbo manages to flank through the enemy spawn. Gets Asbo's destroyed, girl. In. I'm not sure what to position. do. He's going for banana under the window? Glitch has to have heard him, yeah, yeah, Glitch has heard him, he knows he's there. Gets him. Yoko is now under the ghost, he's going for red. Koba must know that they are 3v1, and there we go, Zvia picks it up. Can call Yoko out. Yoko can still run back to their spawn and try to block the cap. Yeah, they're doing it, they're on the move, but Asbo's already in position, has the info. Grenade. Good oh. try by Yoko there, but unfortunately it didn't pay out. Yeah, to defend that spawn you really need to be in a position a lot earlier than that. Uh, you've got to find that position and getting it from the lower angle is quite difficult as well. 
Uh, so just an unfortunate timing on the push there. Yoko not quite in the position to react there. I sure hope Koba get their fifth member back. That was excellent on their part. The way they handled that round with one less player was very good. I hope they don't have to keep doing this for the rest of the match, though. That would suck. Yeah, an emergency mark might be required, but we'll see. It, yeah, absolutely. It really showed that Koba's smart positioning there played off for them very well. They were in a lot of positions where they could get information based off Menhera's push, and then they were able to get some ambushes off that. Uh, it was written, obviously, I suppose, good grenade there in server to uh, shut down that double server push. Absolutely. Oh, Tormek is coming back. Let's hope it, they actually managed to stay in the server now. Mm -hmm. They did say they had audio issues as well. I hope that's also been fixed. Mm -hmm. Three corporals on both sides. This match, yeah, the prediction is, uh, you were right. This is going to be a fire match. Hotly contested, this is what we come here to see. Yeah, 100%. This really sets a tone for the second stage of the tournament where we're going to see some very close, very tense matches. <clears throat> Pardon my coughing. This time it's not just smoker's cough. Uh, I've caught a cold. It do be that time of year. There we go. Round three is starting. Tormekia seems to have fixed their issues. We've got still triple support on Koba. That's yeah, their, the way they want to roll it. They've got the MX as well. This is going to be dangerous. Stella's still on that recon super. Let's see what she's going to do with it. She's considering server push. Smart on Menhera to grab another support, though, to counter. Oh, and so I bind her. Uh... Nobody there to trade out, either. With the super sticking out that far the on the side of the server, as a recon, not how I would have played it. Yeah, it's an inexperienced drawing, which you will learn. Sis is getting plinked here. Where from? Where from? Uh, from server kitchen. Zviad tried to throw out a feeler. Retreated. Yeah, meanwhile, Manhera in suicide here. Having to pull back because they get, their angle is held. They're being called out. Yep, they're going for the rotation. Going for that glass door. Oh. Angles. See, it is on fire with that MX. Yep, that power spike. It's a 4K here. Very well played on Zviad's part. Yep. That MX power spike catching Menhera off guard there. Maybe now they need to think, okay, we can't be as aggressive as we were. We need to try and get that pick, get that MX off the field. But they're going into this round and Destroy Girl now has her MX. So a double MX for Korba here. It's going to be quite a difficult round for Menhera. Let's see what they do to adapt. Us rolling an assault shotgun. That's inspiring. I love seeing those. Oh, it's Stella staying on the SRM here. I like it. Pushing glass. Asbo, he is it, though. So does Glitch. Yeah. The strike girl must have heard the glass doors opening, however. Turn yeah. around. Spreading shots here, all the banana glitches in 2 HP here, Ned goes out, finds Lich, excellent grenade there. Tomaki is just around the corner here though. Nade out, but flank. bounces off the ceiling, harmlessly. Yeah. As well, Foster rotate here, looking for a better position for that super. This is holding with a ZRC in server. Interesting to see these two Menhera players on the window. 
usually you only have one person there and uh, certainly not holding it that much. Yeah, that's Scarf and I still don't try. <laughs> yeah. They were trying to swap weapons. Oh, and it's oh. often not, as the MX was there waiting. It's a very healthy MX, 84 HP as well. Uh, last two on Manhara in a difficult position here. Beautiful push by Koba from three separate sides of server. I mean, after that much time, they have managed to triangulate their position and... Uh, but it's the execution that was beautiful there. Perfect timing, perfect coordination. Yeah, that's Wrong a triple MX them. for Koba. And that just goes to show just how important communication and sound really is. Communication, sound and coordination. It plays off especially on a map like Snowfall. They do have an MX here though for Menhera. Yes, and they have given it to Sis. Stella is uh, now trying Assault Zeros. Yeah, very interested to see what she does with it as she's sat on suicide. Sis holding that kitchen angle. Cobble that with that picks up the ghost. ghost. Yeah. Zard is pushing in. Sis catches him. And with 48 HP left as well. Yeah, that was a good angle actually on the right side there. Unconventional. I believe Menhera picked up that dropped MX. Oh, glitch. Catching Sis out. Stella with a trade. Scarf catches glitch or an immediate retrade. Excellent. Menhera have adapted. They've managed to uh, withstand the flanks and the pushes. Yeah. 3v2. 3v2. Yep. Pushing through. They, they see Asbo on that angle. That's a very good angle there to be on that little balcony ledge. Equalized. Now it's down to Stella and Scarf. This is a. They, Menhera really needs to reposition here. They've got. They do not have an MX. Oh, yeah. No, they do not have an MX here. That penetration for Asbo is really going to help. And Destroy Girl is also on the rotation, as, and she's going to back up Asbo if they do decide to push. They're in the lead. I don't believe they have to. Twenty seconds on the clock. It's up to Menhera to push them out. But yeah. Asbo still picks it up. Feeding info to Destroy, who is advancing. Yeah, confident that Destroy can just 1v2 them, which honestly, with that MX and with the position that Menhera are in currently, she may very well do it. Grenade goes out. Does not find the target because Destroy went through Kitchen. Finds the angle on Stella. That Great frag, though. Yeah, but that's... I suppose looking for a weapon here. Yeah, he should just drop He's at this point and tie it, but yeah, we're, it's still going to tie out. Yeah. It's the kill anywhere. That's good on Scarf. No, he's a corporal. Halfway there to Sergeant Scarf. Yep, uh, it's four sergeants for Corba though. Looks you think like... this is going to snowball now? It very well could. Uh, Menhera, with that two point difference on the round, needs to be very careful with the ties going forwards. Uh, because that snowball is just going to become more and more deadly. Menhera, strong pushing the server. Yoko holding an angle via ballistic glass here uh, on banana. Yes, you will want to rotate because if you fire through, you will not do any damage. I'm like the angle hesitant here. to commit right now. They don't want. And glitch is fast pushing all the way through banana, going into their spawn. They're putting the pedal to the metal. Who is Glitch going to catch out here? They have a ZRC. Slow walking towards server. Oh, but Stella was covering the angle. Excellent. 
Good awareness there. Grenade almost gets Tarmac here. 22 HP. It seems to me that both teams are playing a little disconnected here, but... Yeah. I'm loving that grenade from Yoko. So, it's just down to destroy with 39 HP in an MX. I mean, she could clutch this. 1v4, surely. Although she needs to reposition right now or else she's going to get capped. Going to be really hard for destroy, but... But if they all push from the same angle, she's got this. But Yoko here is look, going for that heaven angle right now. Destroy gets one. 15 HP. Yoko's going to get the flank. Yeah, she sees it. Oh, oh. Yoko, come on. Yes. Yeah, when you're clutching out like that, you have to pay attention to your back every now and then. I mean, excellent uh, job on Destroy for preventing the cap. Absolutely. But that does get them a sergeant. Yeah, now they've got two uh, MXs on uh, Menhera's side. So. Yep. Triple support with the uh, MXs on uh, Koba's side. This is still very much anyone's game, I would say, at this point. Both teams yeah. are displaying the potential to just change things uh, mid, uh, around, mid uh, round. Absolutely. The momentum very well could be in Manhara's favor here after that win. But then again, it is only 3 2. It's absolutely anyone's game. They are slow walking. Koba going up that banana as Destroy holding that angle on the flank gets his. Glitch, however, is in Menhera's spawn. The other was ready to be the ghost. Stella again catches Glitch out on the flank. Excellent awareness. Love it. As we're taking hits, we've got a few low players on both sides here. This. Oof, side is a beast, however. Finds Yoko. Was fed the info, dropped, killed. Yeah, and he's still fresh on 99 HP. He could very easily just go and wipe up, wipe the floor with Manara right now. They've got to be very careful. Stella is very low and dies to her indeed. Yep. Oh, oh that was a. Shooting gallery on banana. I would say Koba this round displayed more coordination than their counterpart, and that nets them uh, another round. Yep. 4 2. Stella is sticking with ZRS and not picking MX and trading for the ZRS on Sis. On the one hand, That's... it's allowing her teammate to uh, have the potential to reach their own MX faster. On the other hand, the ZRS is uh, still a very powerful weapon. And it allows high ac accuracy on Banana, where mm -hmm. she is right now. She has been fighting recons quite a lot, but unfortunately for her, Glitch has switched to Assault. All of men here are focused on bana uh, banana now. Yeah, look at them. That's that's paying off. Surprisingly, yeah. that grenade is going to catch. Oh, it did not. No one, but double by Asbo. Very well done there. Yeah, it was quite lucky on the timing there. Stella had a grenade in hand. Again, pulling a grenade out in a forward position with no cover. As it up with a flank though. Tomek here just soloing it out of an MXS in, so, in server. Very much a King Kong moment. Push into me, I dare you, is what he says. Destroy moving through their spawn now. Does she know he's in Banana? She is looking at Banana. What's Destroy gonna do here? I think Yoko's gonna get impatient and is gonna peek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gets punished for it. Quite a lot of damage. 
the re-peak in that situation was suicidal. Yeah. To do that as an assault against a supporter who has an MX and has the angle. Destroy is backing off and going for the ghost. Smart. She's repositioning. She took damage. Koba know where Isotop is. Tomeki is going for that long flank, but we get the time out there. Tomeki had the right idea, was going for the long flank via banana. Maybe to catch uh, Isotop off guard, but Isotop did reposition, which was very good on them. Or overwatching Destroy Girl, who was going for the ghost mm -hmm. in order to True. extend the round, but... Supports, that's uh, one of the drawbacks of fielding three supports. You're going to be kind of slow. Weapon trade here, however. Yeah. Asbo gets an AA. That, uh, that box cosplay here, as we see that uh, support AA on this map is, mm, depending on your routing, it could, it's a double-edged sword, but it could be very effective if he's in server like he is right now. Yeah. If they actually equip it, though. There we go. Good positioning. Uh, double smoke. They're looking for that push. They're going to push. Yeah, they're going in. Osbo's feeling very confident with that AA. Yeah. Put the out of smokes now. Gets as a top. The AA accuracy paying off there. Meanwhile, Glitch has that ghost. Destroys holding a Naughty angle there on re on ramp. Scarf has that banana covered. And he is backed up by your uh, teammate in showers. Yo, it's Yoko. Yeah, Stellar and Sis paired up here in spawn. Looking to rotate based off information. Glitch yeah, I like the way they're rotating. Banana. Do they drop? Or do they just take it right up banana? This must be this must be nerve cracking for uh both teams. Hard Absolutely. to push in and without the detailed info, not knowing when you're being pushed. Destroy goes for it. Finds Yoko. Asbo goes in. Scaff not in position to trade out there for Stella. Stella again in an open position with a grenade in hand. Gotta realize you have to be in a safe spot to grenade like that. I would say the round rightly goes out to Koba. Again, more coordination and uh, superior positioning. Slow and methodical, as opposed to fast and wild. Fast and wild mm -hmm. works when uh, you know you're going to w be winning most 1v1s. Like we've seen uh, a bit in the beginning of... Well, I wouldn't say quite fast, but still. A lot more 1v1s early in the, the match than right now. Yeah, Yoko with the super pick here on Assault. Stella finally going for that MX pick on the Assault. Realize she's got the best triple lieutenant here. Triple lieutenant on Cobra. They are only using one air, however. Yoko munches around. on a frag with 20 HP. Isn't sure what to do anymore. Scarf's also pretty down. Yeah, and there's an air pushing up down Banana as well. He's going to shred them. Uh, three players almost dead on Menhera. Off. Yeah. Again, it's down. Uh, Sis and Stella. Okay. What's gonna go? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Where are you gonna? What's your positioning gonna be? How are you gonna defend against this? Or are you gonna sit forwards like you did last time? Nah, they're going back to their spawn. They're trying to intercept the ghost. They know this is the last line. This is the last place they can't fight in. And if they work together, they might be able to turn it around. But uh, it says no. It says no, if you don't use cover, I'm going to exploit that. Did you notice how all four surviving Jinrai were entered the room at the same time, the same area. That's the slow, methodical coordination I really love to see and I believe is 
what's winning Koba this match. 6-2 is not over yet, but I... Not seeing it as too hopeful at this point for a men here, unless they radically change the way they're uh, playing. Yeah, it's men here are very much just as a the complete opposite to Koba. Men here are going in one five, like one v one in in each fight against or one v two even one by one, never coordinating their pushes, not going multiple angles against one person, and it's that lack of coordination that really is hurting them. However, this is only map one. Easy for Asbor here, finding Stella. Again, Menhera have taken too much damage in those early first engagements. Yeah. It seems it's that not... Koba have practiced this map. Ooh, Tor Tormekia, it's an aid. Yeah. Squidding up Asbor. Pushing it with that PZ, he gets one. Could get a second here. Going for that re-peak after re-peak after re-peak while holding mouse one. We know He's also is... holding the team in place while the rest of the, the Koba team pushes the rest of the map. Slowly. Yeah, they could take Banana right now. Good position by Sis there. Catches Tormekia off guard as uh, they moved into server alone. Yeah, but he does only have a ZRS here. Yeah. Koba Perhaps. might have grown too confident. Uh, they're too spread out, spread thin. Too many solo plays. They recognize that ladder player, though. They have an SRS uh, in Construct right now in a naughty position, so if they do drop ladder, it will catch him straight away. Scarf goes for a cheeky <laughs> weapon switch. Mad lad pushes through the lead. <laughs> Okay, that's a tie out. A tie might not be the worst possible result for Menhera at this point. It's uh, gaining them not just time, but possibly also morale in uh, saying, okay, we have figured out something that actually works. We can do this. We just have. Five more rounds to win in a row. Come on. Yeah. You yeah. can do it. Yeah. I think it's really down to Stella here to make the play. Can't afford to get caught out early here. Find a good grenade, get some map control, push through with it. Exploit the fact that they're using some very cheeky lieutenant weapons on Korba here, as we see a lot of damage coming out on Glitch and Tomek here. Because of Stella's excellent positioning. Stella, however, has... Yeah, she wisely pulled back in order to reload. Since she is alone in that server. Yeah, she's got that ghost control. But she won't be able to effectively use it. She's just preventing the opposite team from getting it. That being said, Koba could just sit. They can just sit right now and then win. That, but Ghost is on Menhera's control, so they can extend time. If they decide to pick it up early enough and get the info, yeah, that's the play they should be going for. Asbor just get one and he is spraying down a second, but both Asbor and Glitch now very weak, very killable. This is pushing in, finds Destroy Girl who just wipes the floor with him. Story girl finds a second one as well. Again, slow pushes. They it, had they picked up the ghost, they would have avoided this. Yeah. I hope they realize these uh, mistakes and uh, avoid repeating them in the next map. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, pushes like that without information are uh, it's suicidal. Especially when, uh, yeah, the opposing opposing team has patience. I love Stella's... it. Yes, the patience paid another, off, but didn't get the round. Out of time. You like you said, Koba could just patiently sit it out. That's I, I feel for Stella there because that was actually really smart of her there to not fire immediately because she knew that that person 
typically would have had somebody there to trade out. So if she shot immediately, that support would have killed her. She waited. Waited a little bit too long, but she waited. That's smart. That's smart play there. I agree, absolutely. Also, uh, I'm sure play the players are going to check the VOD after this. Menhera, we're criticizing you this much, not because we hate you, but because we love you and we w want to see you improve and learn. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Corbo really playing really well here. Um, we're seeing where Menhera have room to improve and they definitely can do it because they've got some really good players and I know that they can coordinate. They've got some players who are vocally active, so they can absolutely coordinate really well. They've got it in them. Let's see if they do that on Termok here. Termok being their pick, they've got to have a game plan, so let's see what that game plan is and if they can execute.